So here's some fun research. If you go to Africa, there's a place there in Gabon where they had a uranium mine. And the uranium mine had some anomalies with the uranium isotopics that they found. And what they discovered was that the isotopics of a lot of other elements were completely off. If you look, for example, at the isotopic distribution of natural neodymium, that's shown right here, but you look at the neodymium from Oklo, it looks more like the fission product distribution of neodymium. In fact, what they found is that if you look at the neodymium from fission, and you take that and you add a little bit of natural neodymium, you get the actual neodymium from Oklo. So that the neodymium from Oklo, after you correct for the natural, is effectively identical to fission product. And what that showed us was that the anomalies in the uranium were from the fact that this actually was a natural nuclear reactor that occurred a couple billion years ago. And why that's significant is not just that nature can make nuclear reactors on its own, but that we can have geological repositories that can store fission products for billions of years. Oklo is a great example of having good enough geology that you can keep the fission products in the ground with the original fissionable material that it came with, which is basically spent fuel, which is effectively exactly what we had there in Oklo. So it's a great case for why nuclear waste management is entirely tenable and acceptable and doable as long as you simply be careful and do it right, like you should do with anything. Be careful and do it right. I hope that helps.